Hi Alex, my name's Martin George. I'm the Infrastructure and Web Services Manager at the Library at the University of South Australia. What field of research uh, does or did your ANS project relate to? Uh, our ANS project related to the Architecture Museum at the University of South Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, that museum is interested in collecting artefacts related to architectural research and it typically includes architectural plans and diagrams or it might include metadata stored in documents that talks about particular architectural projects. Okay. Um, for example, housing constructed during the war. Great example. The next question that I have here is what's the challenge that your project uh, was seeking to address? Uh, probably to d disseminate these artefacts to the wider audience mm -hmm. because although there's a lot of information, it tends to be in paper form and it tends to be locked away in cabinets right. and it's not widely known about. Perhaps it is within the discipline but more broadly. Mm -hmm. And the other problem we were seeking to address was the metadata was stored essentially as word documents and they called these finding aids. So if you were a researcher and you were interested into some interested in some architect, you would go to the museum, you'd say, I have an interest in work of a particular architect, and can I have a look at that? And in order to discover more about the work, you'd have to find the Word document, go through the Word document and learn, you know, that would be the descriptor for that particular work. So it's made it far more accessible. Uh, far more accessible. So now um, we've developed a project which is based on a software system which enables a researcher to go onto an online web form, do a search, much as you would do a Google search. That will search through the metadata that we now hold. Uh, it basically gets uploaded to Research Data Australia. So the researcher can do a search on that, say, oh yes, this is the sort of information I'm interested in finding out more about, and I can now find the plans for that particular architect or whatever. Great. So how have you gone about resolving that challenge? Well, the main thing we, one of the primary things we did was to convert the finding aids into metadata that will be more easily searched, mm -hmm. so an index solution. We also provided a front-end interface for the administrators, which in this case would be researchers within the museum itself so that they could enter that metadata originally and link it to the data that the metadata was describing. So why is that important? It's important because it makes the, not only the metadata, but the data itself more accessible to the researchers, or anyone else for that matter that has an interest in the product. And how has ANS played a part in your project? ANS was very helpful in helping us come up with a reasonable set of requirements because ANS already had goals in mind that they wished to meet and by providing us with the opportunity to complete a project like this, not, not only us but other institutions, we've been able to meet ANS requirements, but by liaising with ANS we've also been able to come up with a more complete and precise set of requirements. Excellent. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you very much for your time. No worries, Alex. Thank you.